Hello, Scott Austin here from Jade Puma. In this video, I'm going to talk about an app that I add to most of my client stores. Uh, the app is called Photo Resize by Pixie. Here you can see it's a uh, listing on the Shopify App Store. It's got over 1,100 reviews at a 4.8 uh, rating, so it's, it's well used and uh, highly rated. Um, and what this app does is one thing, in it, but it does it really well. So what it does is it takes all of your product photos and allows you to resize them to be square. All right, so the best practice that I use that, that many people use is to turn all their product photos, whether they're landscape or portrait, into square photos. And that way, they line up really well in collection pages. And they also, it's a kind of a compromise between you know, a phone screen, which is portrait, and a laptop or desktop screen, which is landscape. So we just pick square as the aspect ratio to standardize our photos on because it works in both mobile and in desktop. So here's an example. I'm going to go to a client store, um, and we haven't run the Pixie app in the store in a little while. We're going to run it soon because we're adding new products. But here's an example of product photos that aren't square. So here's one we added a while ago. We ran the app and it turned it into a square photo. Now these other two products have been added recently, but they're, they're portrait photos. And you'll notice the text is at different heights. So it's harder for the customer to read what's going on on this page. Now here's another example of a store where all the product photos are square. So you can see the photos are all lined up at the same size and the text all shows up so you can easily scroll across with your eye and see the titles for these different product descriptions. So that's what we want, is we want all of our product photos square, and this app's going to do it for us. So now I'm going to walk into a client store. This is Lulani. They make a uh, high, they make high-end faucets, and I've already added the app into their store. And I'm going to click on it. We've run it a few times also. I'm going to click on that app, and it's going to take a second to come up. And you can see here that I've already run the check, right? So it says you have a total of 78 images. One image is not square. And I did that right before running this video because, you know, the first thing you want to do when you open the app after I've run it a couple times probably for your store, so you want to go in every once in a while and just check that, you know, any new photos you've added, are they square or not? And if they're not, make them square for your products. And remember, this is only for products. This doesn't work for collection photos or anything else. It's just looking at product photos. Um, so what you first want to do when you open it up is click this little button that says recheck. And I'm not going to do that right now because what happens is it goes through a process of checking all your photos. And this store only has 78 images right now, so it only takes two minutes or so to check it. I've had stores where I click on that and, you know, literally I walk away and go to lunch and come back and it's still checking them. So the recheck process is really slow. What happens when you do it um, is that you get this yellow bar across the, the thing, this progress bar, and you just have to wait until it's done. And when it's done, you'll see this screen, right? And it'll say you have 78 images total, one image is not square, or whatever your total number is. And it automatically selects the not square ones. You can see down here that I have one of them selected. Now I'm gonna deselect all the photos. So now it's going to be zero selected um, and show you what this user interface looks like. So here's little thumbnails of all your photos. And you can see here that this little green checkbox in the lower right corner means that this photo is already squared. If you hover over photos, sometimes it actually shows you. Maybe if I click on it, it'll tell you if it's square or not. Um, no, nope. I thought I was doing that earlier. Um, so what I'm going to do, so it's here I can see quickly that they're all little green checkboxes. So I'm going to go to page two, and you'll see the last photo because I just added this uh, example one to run this process. Oh, there it is. So when I'm hovering over ones that are square, nothing happens. When I hover over one that's not square, you see I get that little dialog, image is not square, and it tells you what the aspect ratio is. So then all you have to do is select the images that you want to run this process on. So there I go, I just checked it green. And now I'm gonna say, make all images square. And what happens is, it's a three-step process. The first step was you scan the store. I skipped that, but I explained it to you. The second step is we're gonna have the app make the images square. 
And then the third step is once it makes them square, it doesn't make them live. Then you have to tell the app, yes, please make those images live. So we're going to do step number two, make all images square. I'm just going to click on that button. And we only have one photo here, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, but if you do have a ton of photos, it'll take a very long time to do this. I've run stories where I have to do it over a couple of days because we have thousands and thousands of photos. Um, so now, if I go to that, as you can see here, the image is square. Um, but I still have not, uh, I still have that X there because I haven't had the app replace the image on the product page. So you, you can see it changed that button up at the top to be replace all images. So now I just click on that button, replace all images. Images are being processed. And then as we go into the, uh, the store, uh, you can see it there. It, it, it is now a square photo. So a couple things to note about this app is they have a pretty generous free program. And what it is is the first 150 photos you process through this app, it does for free. Um, and then after that, it charges you a nickel per photo. That's a one-time fee to process them to be square. Or you can subscribe to it for $20 a month. But for $20, that's a lot of photos at a nickel a piece. So um, for most stores, I end up just paying the ad hoc fee every once in a while. When we get over that 150 photos, we'll just run it. And it'll actually, if it, we're over the 150 photos right now, you'd have a dialogue that pops up that says, do you want to authorize this payment and that kind of thing. But that's all there is to running the app. Um, the biggest problem with it is, it's not a problem, it's just the fact of, of the complexity of what it's doing. It takes a long time to check all of your um, photos in your store if you have a lot of photos, and it takes an even, even longer time to process them to be square. So you just have to be patient and wait for the dialogues. What I normally do is I keep this open on one screen, and I work on my other screen doing whatever I'm doing, and then while it, this screen here is, is catching up to what I've asked it to do, and just you know let it take some time. I do things over lunch. Sometimes I do it overnight um, because some of the stores I work with have tons and tons of photos. Um, but that's the Pixie app. Um, hopefully that explains you how to use it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.